Hello, I'm going to be talking about uh, my um, thing on Edmodo. It's, uh, uh, it's what I made on the calculator thing. The letter S. And it's this big long equation. Actually, no, it's this big long equation. It's even, even uh, larger. And uh, I'm going to show you guys how I made it. So, uh, basically, there's control points that um, I, th I thought of that would make an S shape. And uh, the start and the end point um, are the only two points that actually fall along the curve. Um, so, here, these are the points. And, uh, yeah, there's control points and um, it calls this function with a table of the points and and it uh, then sets some variables opens up a table and uh, and iterates through the list and uh, and multiplies uh, each item of the list by the binomial coefficients NCR function up here. That's the same as uh, yeah bino binomial coefficients, and then uh, like n choose i is what it's doing. So um, then the first power of t, and then uh, the power the power of uh, one minus t. Uh, so this is sort of how it's going to go together. You have the multiplier at the front times uh, t, which is uh, what it goes from zero to one, and makes that S shape um, to the power of one, and then or to the to the power one, and then times one minus t to the power two, and then times list i. But um, you can see I've already already multiplied those two together. This is the inefficient way, uh, but I made a, a way that uh, will get rid of things like t to the power of zero, which is one, and uh, things like Time zero will make the whole thing not even go there like this, and uh, multiplied by um, one, uh, none of that will appear, and multiplied by negative one, there will just be a negative sign in front, right? Um, yeah, and um, so I run the program, and it spits out these enormous equations. And this is the x, and that's the y. So I could change it up, like uh, make another one. How about uh, and see what it looks like? So this is what uh, that would be, and. Uh, to see what that looks like, it's, uh, and uh, so it when it first happens, it doesn't recognize the brackets. So what I have to do is reinsert every single bracket in the equation. That takes a little bit of time, and then um, it doesn't recognize the t variable because I haven't made it into a parametric yet. And then it says it has to have two coordinates, so I put the second one in. How about t? So now that is what uh, the thing that we just made out of random numbers looks like, except it's supposed to be from 0 to 1. So uh, remember, one of them was 76. So that's, that's uh, this thing, and that's why it goes all the way over there, because there's a control point way out at 76. But you see, it does not go out to 76. It just kind of heads that direction and then heads back to the next point. And so, yeah. Starting at 5, and, and that's how it works. And then I just have another one for the Y instead of just putting T. Like, uh, how would I just make another random one? Let's do uh, just more random numbers. I'll just type in. There we go. That one's a bit longer. So now play it again and 
another long equation and I'll just I'm actually reaching the edge of the screen so I'm just gonna put it onto both of my screens so that I can see the entire equation there we go now it's uh, all there so I put it back here See, there is a Bezier curve. Pretty wacko, isn't it? Yeah. So that's how you make them.